what is going on everyone wally here with another video for the internet now as most of you are guessing by the title i have a slightly different opinion on the latest fps than most of the other people in the hype community but before i get down into it i just want to say i really like this game it's a lot of fun and it works and overall i find myself warming up to the possibility of playing another fps title besides just battlefield now that statement alone is a huge step for me because i am more certainly just accustomed to the Battlefield series. I've been playing Battlefield since 1942 and had had the opportunity to play almost every single game in the series except for Modern Combat and a few of the Battlefield 2 DLCs. But in my opinion, the greatest thing that Battlefield has offered and has since lost has been the skill gap that has really remained a factor in the series until BF3. And while the loss of a skill gap is a matter for debate and honestly just my opinion, I do not think I'd be alone in saying that Battlefield has gone through a period of like casualization to gather more consumers and fans to the series. To compare it to the Arma series, if, if Battlefield went down that super hardcore realism route, I sincerely doubt it would be as successful as it is now. So to say in layman terms, Battlefield has simply gotten easier and easier, allowing for more accessibility to almost anyone with two hands. Now, I'm not here to downplay the possibility of a game being open for all to play, in fact I welcome it. But Battlefield has lost the old mantra and staple point, easy to learn, difficult to master. Now it has become more sense, easy to pick up, easy to dominate, easy for anyone to play, play it with your feet. While I understand playing the elitist card here won't win me any fans or even respect, I'm not going to put up videos and especially put together a script if I'm not going to be honest with anyone who chooses to spend their time watching my content. Now you may be asking, how do I tie this all into Titanfall and my opinions about the upcoming release of the next big FPS title? And the best way to put this, or at least the bluntest way to put this, is that if you suck at FPS games, this is the game for you. Now mind you, that isn't a slight on anyone who isn't good at games. In my opinion, I'm not the greatest shooter. You guys have all seen my footage, and there's plenty of better players out there. But games are a hobby, a pastime for some people. And in my opinion, they aren't meant to be competitive by nature, but cooperative. Now, we see that Titanfall really picks up that pieces in a sense that allows for it to be very, very successful because it is so easy to pick up. It has the ability now for anyone in the game really to get kills on anything. That's why the bots are in there. That's why the, the mechs are in there. Everything's in there and it feels great. But it's been so successful that there's been a huge phenomenon created on Twitter and YouTube with people selling free beta keys to the point they have now made it an open beta, which is a great thing in my opinion. It's something they definitely should have done. But I would say a majority of the game's success relates on how easy it is to pick up and how easy it is to get kills in terms of kill-death ratio and how empowered the player feels on the field of battle. A lot of that empowerment comes into a few factors. Firstly, the game has a series of bots in varying difficulty and forms, but mostly they act as complete cannon fodder or self-esteem boosters depending on the kind of game you're having. Then there are other player characters, up to six, and these come in as many forms as actual humans, which in my opinion is a great touch. You will see superhuman sprinters, stealth ninjas making use of suppressors and backstabs, and of course the common mix of SMGs, shotguns, carbines, and sniper rifles. With all of this, you start each game with a ticking clock. This clock is your titan timer, letting you know how long you have before you can call in your walking mech death machine. Every kill, hard point capture, grenade throw, and assist go into reducing the timer before you can drop a titan. But fear not, you will get a titan regardless. If you do not get a single kill in the round, that timer is meant to be forgiving. The game is built around this titan to titan combat, and essentially it would be wasted on the player if you didn't get to experience that, regardless if you've an experienced FPS vet or if you've never played an FPS in your life. This is where my complaints come in. It's just too easy. It's too easy to amass kills. It's too other, too easy to kill other players. The time to kill is too low. It's too easy to completely dominate by playing solo. I had the opportunity to play with a full team of six, five including myself, of Battlefielders and Halo players. And suffice to say, 
players in the opposite team stood absolutely no chance. Now I know the argument can be made in favor of this happens anywhere you go. If you play pubs and you do incredibly well with a team, you expect to win. Of course, that is that is doubly true in a smaller game type, especially in 6v6. Battlefield, especially on BF3, used to have the ability to just win a game potentially by yourself. You could do it, but most of the time, if you had a squad of about four people, you could do it no problem. Of course, BF4 changed that for the console side, and now having a squad of four does not even guarantee you a win anymore because of the mass of players. Again, this is something that I kind of have an issue with. Now, if you've seen my Battlefield streams and you, and you know that I rarely play with the team, I get the opportunity to play with you guys in streams, I get the opportunity to play with you guys, uh, my friends, and that's great for me, but most of the time you'll see me just playing by myself, and that's just who I am as a player and who I am personally. I don't like counting on other people to do the job for me or even for me to count on their help. Um, and in Titanfall, you can be rewarded for both playstyles. If you play solo, I recommend the stealth approach. And if you play with the team, I recommend whatever you want to do, basically. If you find yourself working with friends, this is where the game truly shines. To put it simply, you aren't playing against another team of like-minded players. You will dominate every game you come into. Teamwork in this game, although as not as evident or necessary in games like Battlefield, is still a huge factor in winning games. It becomes more clear in Titan to Titan fights, or at least in the last Titan standing game mode, where you will see Titans teaming up and doing incredible things together, such as mixing Vortex shields with damaging smokes, chain guns for fighting, f covering fire for 40 mil cannon users, and the all-powerful rocket salvos being traded between Titans. In all honesty, I feel as if the last Titan standing mode has the most potential for competitive play, even if it isn't grounded in the standard FPS fare we are all used to with COD and Halo. The Titan fights are a curveball in the gaming mechanics and something that I welcome. The game's movements are easily the best points. I feel from wall running, shooting, moving on the ground, getting into a Titan or, or onto another Titan feels so polished. This beta feels as if we were playing the actual release version of a game. I had the opportunity to play on a few European servers, gaming with one of my buddies across the pond, and even with my one bar connection, the hit detection was about a hundred times better than any local West Coast server for Battlefield. Now, I understand that comparing a polished beta to release brokenness is, isn't exactly fair, but the one thing that makes me want to play Titanfall more and more is that my bullets go where I shoot them. Random deviation, netcode suppression, all these things are all bad jokes in hindsight to a game like Titanfall. All in all, I recommend Titanfall. I, I honestly do. And if you're a Battlefield player at heart like me, you will enjoy the seemingly massive yet compact battles it will produce. But make no mistake, this is not Battlefield. And I am a Battlefielder, a faithful component to the community that I won't abandon on the new idea of a great shooter. So if you fear that I'm going to stop casting games or putting up BF4 content or stop streaming BF4, don't be. I'm not going to jump ship and join the view train or any of that nonsense YouTube career mysterious BS. I'm still a Battlefielder. I just enjoy this game immensely, but I'm here to give you my honest opinion. Perhaps I'm just so accustomed to the garbage that EA and DICE has been shoveling out these past few years that I can't see a good thing in front of me. That my pessimism for a new title that it has good hit detection, feels polished and easy to pick up is something I shouldn't expect. Yet this game, in my mind, is easy. Maybe it feels easy because my bullets go where I shoot them. They connect to targets. I don't suffer one frame deaths. I can win 3v1s because there isn't some mass unexplained mystery we call the netcode. Or maybe this game is easy because it is meant to be so. You are meant to feel in control or even at times dominate human and bot alike. While I'm still on this fence in this game, I'm not really buying into the hype and I'm watching people post on Twitter their kill and death ratios while in my opinion is somewhat laughable is understandable. They are enjoying a new, fresh IP, and it works. It feels polished, and mostly, the most important thing of all is it isn't broken like some other games we have. My faith in developers, and surprisingly EA, has been restored.